hello everyone welcome to the session in this session we will discuss about how we can integrate file beat with log stats so let's begin our session so for this session we need log file file beat software and log stats software file beat will read the log file and will send the data to the log stats log stats will print the data on the console so it would be the flow of the data those who have not followed my previous video please go through those videos because in those videos i have already explained how to use file beat how to use log stats how to download those software this is the playlist of my all videos based on elk stack so this is the for the log stats so here in this video i have explained what it what is log stats how how to download how to use so this is the basic video on log stats so please go through so that you can understand the basic configuration and also on the file beat here you can see file beat demo multi line configuration file beat demo elk file beat in elk stack so in these video previous videos i have explained the things which are necessary to you know to start the file beat to use the this is my file beat software where you can see the full folder structure so i have created one configuration file here for this particular demo in this configuration file all the configuration i already explained in my previous videos so for this particular demo you need to change the output to the log stats here this is how you can so it will it will tell file beat to use or to it will tell file beat to send the data on the log stats on this particular port and this is the host name so since my log stats is running in my local system so i have using the local host here and this is the port number of the log stats and this is the basic configure required so this is the path of my log file so my log file is present this which we already talked about in my previous video so the file beat will read the data from this log file and it will send to the log stats on this particular port number so this is the basic configuration for the file beat and for the log stats uh, this is the software for log stats here under configuration i have already created one configuration for log stats so here we need this input this section beats means the log stats will receive the data from the file beat it is telling the log stats bit receive the data from the file beat on the port 5045 so whatever port you are giving here you need to give it to this file beat configuration here this is the filter i am not using anything and this is for the where you are sent where the log stats will send the data so currently it is std out means it, it log stats will send the data on the console on the command prompt so so now we have discussed all these four the log file we already checked this is my log file currently it is blank then i will start both the softwares uh, i will add the log data here the file beat we already checked the file beat configuration file beat folder structure log stats configuration file now let's start our software so first i am starting log stats so you can see here you need to go to the bin of your log stats this is the bin you need to go to here you need to lo launch log stats here i have launched and you need to use this command so log stats dot bat minus f and the path of your configuration so this is the command we used to run the log stats let's wait for the log stats to be you can see it is starting log stats yeah 
you can see the starting server on 5045 also you can see the beat input the starting input listener here so uh, this is coming from here we are using input beat as a input so now our log test is up and running so log test will get the data from file bit on this particular port here it will send to the console as per this configuration now let's run the file bit for the file bit you need this command filebit.exe minus c minus c and the name of your configuration file which you need to be here this is the folder structure this here here you will see all the so this is my configuration file and also the log file here so let's press enter so it is started so now let's give some data to the file with i have already created sample data so let's copy that to the file with to the log file you can see harvest i started for the, this particular file the connection has been established with the log status you can see 5045 so file v has read that the data present in the log file and this is the log status console you can see and the as per configuration log status has sent data to the console here so what is the where we can find that our message you can see this is the message this state welcome to the file bit and log status configuration so this is the message so what is the flow file bit has read this particular log line and sent to the log status on the port number 5045 log status has sent to the console here so this is the complete output of the log status for single event this is the event we call and the message it is this so whatever fields you are seeing here these are the default field so these are coming out of the box let me copy some exception log this is the exception log Yeah, you can see so file width has some polling frequency after that only the the file width read the data from the log file so the i think the following frequency is 10 second or 5 second maybe so this is the output of our data log data which we have added you can see this is the message of our exception so this is the one more event here so this is how it works now let me copy one few more lines here let's wait for the output on the log status console so you will get the yeah output is here you will get the output on the log status console file width is not showing it so don't get confused you need to check the log status console because the configuration is on in the log status configuration file so you here you can see we have got the data on the for the latest line we have added what is the message this is message both the soft software are working fine file bit is reading from this log file we have seen and it is sending to the log status on this particular port log status is listening on this particular port and sending the data 
whatever is being received on this particular port to the console if somebody is not getting few things in this particular demo i would suggest to please go through this session it would be very helpful for you to understand you can try in your local system to run all these softwares and check if uh, everything is working fine or not if you have any doubt or facing any challenge please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching see you in the next video